One, two, three, four dollars. Four dollar games. Every one of the games in this sale is under four bucks. Four bucks. I have an idea. Come with me, let me illustrate a point. Our Lord and Savior, 2021. That was a bad idea. Don't go into the McDonald's playground when you're in your 20s. It hurts. The things I'll do is make an intro. Okay, so this is a Big Mac. A Big Mac costs $3.99. The games in this sale cost $3.99. What would you rather have? Th this, this thing? This delicious thing here? I don't eat McDonald's, so. Or, any of the games in this sale, they're all less than what this would cost. I actually have no idea what I'm gonna do with this now, I don't eat McDonald's. <laughs> okay, for the gamers on a real budget, the January sale has a bunch of games under two bucks. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at a bunch of stuff under two dollars. I think like 15 or 20 games in here, so we're gonna quick fire through them. I haven't played all of these. And I don't know if all of them are really great either. Some of them are okay. And some of them are really good trophy hunting games. Some of them aren't. I'll talk about those as we go through them. But I know not everyone has the luxury of having $20 to spend on a game all the time. So I thought I'd do a video like this showing that you can pick up a bunch of stuff for two bucks and have a decent enough time with it. Even if they're not 10 out of 10 games, still something to enjoy over the holiday season, even if you don't have a ton of money. If you enjoy videos like this and you've been enjoying the rest of my January sale series, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. It would be a fantastic gift that you could give me and it costs you absolutely nothing. Okay, the first game we'll talk about is We Were Here. This is a co-op game that came out earlier in this year. It's been out for a few years on PC. Uh, it's, it's a really fun little co-op game. Easy platinum trophy if you're looking for trophies and a game that you can play with a friend for two bucks. One person controls like the guy solving the puzzles and the other one per controls the person basically with the cipher. They have to uh, help decode all the puzzles. So one's a decoder, one's a puzzle solver. You kind of have to describe the environment you're in and then the decoder has to go and find out which kind of like key or uh, thing it is that he needs to use to help you unlock the room will solve the puzzle that you're in. It's fun, it is testing, it is frustrating, but it is a fun little game to play with a friend if you're looking for a co-op game to play. Slend of the Arrival, it gets down to this price point all the time. It's the classic horror game from PC, but obviously on PlayStation now as well. It's old and it's rough, but if you're looking for something to scare your pants off, uh, then this is a really good one to do it. Maybe you wanna put this on over the holiday when you've got family members around and you can scare them. And, and terrify them because Slender is still pretty terrifying even though he looks absolutely terrible. Murdered Soul Suspect is two bucks. This is a really good trophy hunting game. It's uh, a really, really straightforward click-to-thon game. You'll need to use a collectible guide if you want to get the platinum in this one in a single playthrough. Uh, but basically it's a very light detective game. Semi open world environments where you have to solve puzzles and, uh, and, and put together clues basically while doing some self sequences and then collecting a bunch of stuff. That's, that's essentially it. The plot for this game is fantastic. It's about a guy who dies and becomes a ghost and then he has to solve his own murder. I think it's a really, really cool plot for a game. It was just executed kind of a little bit poorly, unfortunately, and they shut the studio down very promptly after this game launched. Uh, but two bucks, absolutely worth it for that price. Adam's Venture, the classic trophy hunting knockoff Uncharted game. $1.50 for this one and it is absolutely worth $1.50. It's basically a very, very cheap knockoff version of Uncharted. You do climbing, you do puzzle solving, you do kind of witty cutscenes, very similar to Uncharted, but a very, very low budget version. Great trophy hunting game. You gotta finish this one in a couple of hours time. Uh, but in terms of actual game, it's, it, holds, it doesn't hold a single candle to Uncharted. Although the artwork tries to be very much Uncharted. Corridor Z is a interesting one. It's basically a, a endless runner style game. You're running away from zombies. This one actually looks kind of cool. I was kind of tempted to pick this one up when I was looking through all the gameplay for these games. It's a classic endless runner, like the kind of thing you would play on a mobile phone, but it actually doesn't look too bad. I think it looks like it has a bit of personality to it. Uh, I haven't played it myself, but I think this will probably be actually one of the ones I'll pick up from this sale. Shiny, a robotic adventure. This one is less than a dollar. It's 89 cents. It looks like a 2D uh, side-scrolling puzzle style game. Not too much to say on this one. And the gameplay does look pretty rough, but you're paying 89 cents, so it's proportionate to what you're kind of paying for it. Reyes is a, another one from the same publisher as the, the previous game we talked about. This one here is more of a God Sim style game where you're controlling the planet. Uh, more of, yeah, you're controlling the planet.
it's sort of a SimCity style thing, I would say, uh, controlling all the elements and moving things around and stuff like that. Not my cup of tea for a game, but you know, some people like that resource management style gameplay. Um, this is a good one to check out if you're into that kind of thing. Riot, Civil Unrest, I don't actually know the kind of game this is as well. I think it's an RTS style game as well. You're controlling a riot going back and forth. It's like a pixel art style game. Again, probably not the kind of thing I would pick up and play, but for a couple of bucks, it could be, uh, you know, it could be a game that you'll enjoy. Games like this tend to get forgiven when they're so cheap. Thomas Was Alone is only one dollar. This one's great. This one's a, it's a, it's a, it's a platformer. It's a 2D platformer style game. You play as a series of different shapes that have different, uh, different physics to them. They jump higher or lower or things like that. And you have to solve puzzles and platform through the environment with these different squares. It's narrated uh, with this really interesting narration style as well, explaining what the shapes are feeling and doing as you go through the game. This one's a dollar. I think this is the best one we've talked about so far in this entire sale, maybe except for Murdered Soul Suspect. Uh, this is definitely an indie game, but it is a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, highly recommend this one. Thomas, Thomas was alone. It's a really, really good pickup. Uh, Wupo is a weird one. It looks like a sort of 2D side-scrolling RPG style game. The art style for this is very unusual. It's like like a almost an MS Paint style art style and at first I thought it was a bit of a joke and uh, dismissed it but then as I watched more gameplay of it I realized it's actually like a very specific type of art style that, that kind of does work in a weird sort of way. It looks like a, a sort of 2D style RPG Metroidvania-esque kind of game in the lightest possible sense actually doesn't look as bad as I'd initially thought given the, the image I have for the game or the screenshot I have for the game. So this one here, uh, I haven't played it, but it gets a bit of a half tick from me, I would say. Horse Racing 2016, this game looks absolutely dreadful. Uh, it's 99 cents and it does not look good. It looks like a very, very rough PlayStation 1 almost or PS Vita, I guess, horse racing sim or horse racing game. It doesn't look good at all. It looks really bad. Uh, but it's it, look, it's in here if you want to race a horse from 2016. How long the horses lived? They lived this long? Like from 2016 to 2021? It doesn't really matter, honestly. Horse Racing 2016, it's 99 cents. Football game is a point and click adventure game from Red Leaker. It means it's going to have an easy platinum trophy attached to it. I don't think it's as easy as all of the other ones, but an uh, interesting little point and click adventure game here as well if you're into that. La Cops is also discounted down as well. I played this one when it first came out because it was an easy trophy game back in the day. It's not super easy. It's a pretty easy game though. It's basically like Hotline Miami where you go in, you have to shoot everyone in the room and then progress into the next room. Really quick uh, like replays and things like that. It's actually not too bad. I had fun with it back in the day. It can be a little bit hard though if you're a trophy hunter looking for an easy plat. It's probably not that easy now like a 3 out of 10 I would say, rather than a 0 out of 10 like a lot of them are these days. But if you're looking for a decent-ish game, it's not too bad. I had fun with it back in the day. I had really high hopes for Dog Duty when I uh, when I looked at this one initially. I've never heard of the game. I was like, cool, what is Dog Duty? It's like an RTS style game. I, I, yeah, I, I don't know. It's like an isometric RTS action game, I guess. I don't know. I was disappointed with this. I was expecting a dog. And I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. I... But I, I, I guess I should have known by the price point to be disappointed. Rush Rovers here. This is a pretty decent, easy platinum trophy game as well. I think it'll take you like 15 minutes to half an hour to platinum. Isometric game. You just shoot a bunch of stuff. You only have to play the first couple of levels. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward plat. I would say this one's not bad. Defunct actually doesn't look too bad. It's a mascot platformer or a 3D mascot platformer where you're kind of like plowing down a hill in a straight line collecting different things. It's basically like a collectible racer style game, I would say. There are a few of these easy platinum games that are like this. I don't think this is one of them. I, I think this one has probably a slightly harder platinum trophy because it's not been something I've heard of or had on my list for a while and it's not a new game, it's quite an old game. I would know about it if it was an easy platinum from back in the day. Um, but it's it's here. It actually doesn't look too bad for two bucks. I think you're getting a decent enough amount of content from this one. Um, but who knows how it actually plays or runs or anything like that. There you go, a bunch of cheap games for gamers on a budget. Now I know they're not the biggest, highest quality games, but for two bucks, you kind of get what you pay for. But I hope some of this was helpful. Hopefully you were able to find something in here if you were really stretched for a budget and you were looking for something cheap to pick up and play with a friend or play over the holiday season because you didn't have enough to quite afford something a bit more. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you were able to find something and, and pick something up and enjoy it. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below what you ended up picking up or if any of these games are terrible or any good. I'd be curious to get everyone's thoughts. Leave a like if you haven't already and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy New Year everybody, especially to my Patreons and channel members. Thank you to each and every one of you fine folks for helping to keep this channel's lights 
running. 2022 is going to be an exciting year. I cannot wait to show you what we have in store for this channel. Thank you to everyone over here on the side of me to helping to support the channel and to keep the channel going. If you too want to help support the channel like these fine folks over here, you can do so by hitting the Patreon link in the description down below. And as little as a dollar per month can help this channel out enormously. Alternatively, if you want to become a channel member, you can do the, the membership button that's just below this video. You get cool things next to your name. You get to use different emotes in chat. It's a whole thing. Thing. Either way, I really appreciate you. Thank you all so much. And 20, trust me, 2022 is going to be a good one. All right.